All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and we are doing today's task. Hey, I did not say that. And as you can see, I'm at 31 out of 40, so I need nine kills on this last map. I've been averaging, I think, around 10, so it shouldn't be a problem, but the pressure's on. I opted for a tier six and below British lineup, primarily because of cannons and maneuverability. Um, in arcade mode, you need 40 kills. Historical, you need 10, and I believe it's four or five in full reel. We can check that out real quick. Actually, you can check that out. So yeah, I'm going for my British lineup, and I'm figuring, you know, with six planes, I need to average. I need to try to get two kills with each plane. Um, I had some pretty good maps, and. Uh, I think I went 12, 9, and 10. So we're sitting at a good 31 when you do the math. Um, whenever it comes to air kills, I feel like, you know, you need 10 kills in historical. And I figured, hey, you know, if I can average, like I feel like I would have to average 2 to kind of make it worth it. But I think I only probably average maybe like 1.8 or something like that. So there was a good chance it was going to go over, and every now and then you got to have those games where you go back to base and rearm, refuel, all that kind of stuff. It wasn't as guaranteed as Arcade is. So we went for that. Oh, God. Already got someone on our tail. And in Arcade mode, just don't count on anyone coming to your aid. Pretty much safest thing to do. Somehow I just got a kill there. Was that... Okay, the spit pulled off, so that's fine. And we have a P39N over here. Wonder if he bought it when it was premium or if he partaked, partook in. Was it the Halloween event that was it? All right, so stealth rounds, baby. You don't know anything's wrong until it's usually too late. He's juking. And now we got him here. Give in. Give in to it. Alright, good. He gave in. You know, he's trying to help us out. We've already got two with the bowfighter. And yes, I know I'm flying the bowfighters, but don't worry, guys. I haven't taken a shower today, so I'm going to right after this. Because it's not going to be good. You know, that's what happens when you fly bowfighters. I hate getting killed by bowfighters. You hate getting killed by bowfighters. This guy hates getting killed by bowfighters. He really does. Alright. He is... Oh yeah, he's a Wellington. No wonder he's a bullet sponge here. Looks like he's going down. We'll let him go. Pick our new target. We're at three right now. We need five. We're going to get it, guys. I can feel it. <laughs> oh yeah. Pretty, pretty quick. Now, assuming this guy doesn't maneuver much, should be able to, yeah, bag him pretty easily. So yeah, it seems like everything's going for me right now. I'm kind of hanging back, though. Look at where I'm at on the map. I am in my area. So generally, there's going to be less guys uh, jumping on my six as if I was over in the enemy's area. So it is a little lucky targets are lining up. There are games like that. It does happen. This is kind of seeming like it's going that route. And I critted his right wing, so he'll be less than maneuverable. He's dead. That worked out, see? I mean, seems rather lucky to me. And right as we're speaking about luck, uh, my friend and I here uh, wanted to give each other high fives. It didn't really work out, though. Oh, man. So we need three more kills. We're going to make it happen. Um, I'm a big fan of the uh, boomerang. Those cannons are insane. So... We high-fived each other. Now, there's another scourge of the skies, bow fighter. <sighs> Who would ever fly one of those? I tend not to want to fly these planes unless it's one of these. I want to get in and get kills really quick. Um, so we have three targets over there. There's one behind us. Is he high altitude bombing? Kai 45. We'll turn around. We'll say hi. 
We do have bombs loaded, so if we come across a Wellington again, we know how to take care of that. Alright, combat flaps are on at this point. He is maneuvering. He's turning back around. Perfect. Critted him in the right spot to keep him in our sights. We are at a clean seven, and we need two more. Normally, uh, I've been, you know, I usually lose my second plane, I think, around six, because I'm playing in a mindset where I just want the kills. I'm not too focused on my KD ratio. Now, if you look at the top ticker, our team is doing well, and that is a problem. I, I mean, as selfish as it is, I don't really want to do good <clears throat> because I want our team to get in these dogfights. I don't want them to have all the time in the world. Ooh, misses. So we're going to pick a new target, given the positioning of that plane. Check out who may be zooming in on us. Find ourselves three guys who may be distracted on a Peshka. Hopefully they will remain distracted and he will stay alive long enough for us to grab some easy tunnel vision kills. There's a hurricane coming in. Um, so what's interesting about these events is it's got me playing arcade mode a lot lately. I think the majority of these challenges I've done in arcade looks like we may be going down soon. Come on. Alright. Yeah, my aim was pretty bad right there. Finish him with the machine guns. He's going down. Oil all up in our faces. Let's get one more and then we're good to go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we got everyone on us. So we're at eight. We only need one more. <clears throat> Look at how many guys it took to take me down. Hopefully one of those was dinked up on my gunner. We shall see. I'll go for the D520 pretty fast. And when you land those cannon rounds on a high deflection shot, it's generally game over. So yeah, we did well, but we still need that final kill. <clears throat> and I'm worried about the top ticker. There are 13 ground targets. I should be able to get over there in time bar some insane bombing by everybody on my team. But that's just kind of my mindset. I'm always a little bit worried. But that little bit of worry usually, you know, gets the old adrenaline going, puts me on edge, and that edge is usually what allows me to perform above average. And thus, satisfy my goals. And those goals, see, look at that. It's at 11 now. We're zooming in. We're going to look for the weakest target, which I believe is this Hurricane. Not going for the SP2M. But we will look to see. I don't really want to deal with Russians right now. But I might have to. Yeah. Alright, so he traded a rocket. We have our nine kills, and we will check real quick. And then we'll finish off the round, because it's pretty... Pretty. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really count till after. So we'll go out and get our insurance kill. And we'll show off the boomerang. So we went heads up. I wouldn't have normally wanted that, but as it was the final kill and I was firing stealth, I figured I had a good chance to get that last kill. So, if I wasn't to use my British lineup, I don't know if that guy was the guy who rocketed me, but if I didn't go for my British lineup, I figured I'd probably go maybe for Japanese, because I want cannons and uh, turning ability. Because when you can hug on someone's six in arcade mode and speed is less of an issue as it is like in historical battle, like there's less disparity because of the uh, flight model adjustments. So there's a BB-1 over here. We could, we could sh cannon this guy up. That worked out rather well. See, these cannons are insane when you get those high deflections. I got the pilot, which is exactly what I wanted. No, thank you. That was rather fortuitous right there. <laughs> 
See where all of his bullets went? That was awesome. Alright, so looking for the targets. There's the Hurricane, the Kai-61. Chase my friend. Let's let's get him off my friend's six. Alright, that did the trick. Boomerang, son. These Brits are beasts in arcade mode. So now you're kind of getting a feeling of why I want to fly them. Wasn't really doing situational awareness. I'm kind of just enjoying myself at this point. Why not? Let's end this. Ooh, not good. Where's some more AAA? Come here. There you are. Not yet. What do we say to death? Not today. I'm just going a little ground and pound. Let's enjoy Pearl Harbor here. Light pillboxes, pillboxes, pillboxes. So whoever was chasing us either died or pulled off their pursuit. Do we have cannons? Yeah, we do. So we got taken down finally. We're at 12. Doing good. So basically this is the fourth game. I was hoping for four, which is why in, our, in historical I thought if I did, you know, above average, I would get. So let's work on this because he is pretty stock right now. I figured it would take me about five games. And, um, I don't have any bombs left because there are those ships. So this will probably come down to an air fight. Which, when we look at it, I'm doing well on my team. They have two guys doing well on their team. Yeah, it's basically three high performing pilots right now against two is my rough guesstimation. So who's their top guy? Pyro, who's flying the Russians. That was one thing. I, I, I guess Russians would be pretty good because those things perform very well in arcade. So what's his name? Pyro and Dizel. If we see any of those guys, we'll go after them. Triple A, triple A. Three triple A's. Nice and juicy. We want to get some experience on this thing, so we're going to go out for those. So we can unlock some things for this bad boy. As I've been negligent in my duties. Look at that. Roll rate. That roll is tough, like when you do manual. I use, you know, my keys or whatnot. Don't want to get sniped by a destroyer. Kari's going down. He was a decent pilot on there. Oh, never mind. That wasn't his smoke. Thought there was another triple A around here. Which would be a good way to snipe some experience. Thought I was back there. Yeah, I don't want to go in that mess. So now we're just going to play smart. But so, you know, the usual questions what planes did you use and what game mode did you use? Stealth rounds are so annoying when they're used against you. Look at this guy. This poor SOB here. Look at look at that death ball. This is like the seagulls. So I got an assist. Someone's coming in close. An IL or a Kai 61. Derp. That's pillbox. Bow fighter on the horizon here. Yeah, see, like, when you have a stock plane, I feel like my performance just drops down a bit. Instead of getting kills, I'm getting assists. So that that's another reason why I'm glad I'm flying my Britishers. Most of them are pretty powerful and pretty fully stocked. What is that way over there? Triple A by their base. That would be fun, huh? Don't want to get air cobra as we were kind of joyriding, looking around. We will kind of... Let's see, what's going on over there? Ooh. Guy's done. This bow fighter turns in. We don't want to deal with him. Not by ourselves. We'll avoid heads up with bow fighters. That is exactly what we'll do. A6M2N. 
he's distracted. Ah! You know he was trying to be honorable right there. You know that's what he was doing. Alright, so this bow fighter. Now we gotta bail. Because he was hungry. And we have someone on our six and who will be here shortly. An air cobra. So this point, we are going to split us right under him. He hit us, but luckily it was not with any of that 37. We're just kind of waiting for this to be over. What's the last ground target? Oh, it's this destroyer. May have to sacrifice ourselves. If we can make it, I don't think we're going to make it. No. <laughs> All right. So we're sitting at our 12 kills, waiting for this to be over. We got. See, he who lives by the bowfighter will most certainly die by it. All right. Victory's ours. So we used five planes, got 12 kills. Not bad. We got that objective though, which is what we wanted. Um, I'm looking for those two big gold stars. Psh, 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 yeah. Did I open up something for my Spit Mark 2A? Yeah, we got a radiator, so. Pretty good stuff. Um, check out the team. Killed all the uh, ground targets. Looks like we had a guy here. A couple guys grinding those ground targets, which was good. Over on the other team. Not so much, but we got that objective. Let's check it out. 40 out of 40. So we've gotten all of them so far. The 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and now today, November 19th task. Um, if I was to do historical battle, I might try the Kai-61. That was actually the first plane I enjoyed um, in historical Generally, we got paled up, paired up against Russians, um, and Russians weren't too bad in historical at the time. But yeah, let me know what you guys did. Are there any full real battle aces who knocked this out in one go round with the what? What was it? Four kills, or did you ace out that game? What lineups did you use? Let's start a discussion so people who check in later have some good tips on where to start. My personal preference is definitely this lineup tier six and below you usually get pretty favorable matchmaking you have a lot of high powerful you know, high power cannons aside from the mark 2a but you could easily i mean if you had both boomerangs put them in or find something else or if you like that go with it but other than that it's it's one of my favorite let's just get kills really fast in arcade so i generally save it for these types of missions and don't normally play it as i want to develop and not, you know, rest on my laurels. Anyway, my name is Baron, and as always, thank you for watching. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and we are doing today's tank task, and that is to kill bombers with bombers. Now, there's a list of bombers that you can use, and a lot of planes you may not have thought as traditional bombers, but they do count. There will be a link in the video description below as well as I will be discussing it after this here gameplay. I need two kills in arcade. I got one kill in historical with my B25J1.